wish I had like a cooler backdrop than this. I tried to like stack these packages as like my background, but I didn't save enough of them before I like thought about doing this video. So we have like half of a background. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Karina. So today I'm gonna be doing a very highly requested video on how to get on like brand deal lists, how to get collabs, how to get on PR lists. So if this is something you're interested in, keep watching. So I made a little bit of a list of topics that I wanted to go over, but let me start off with this. In order to get like brand deals or brand collabs, you do not need 100k followers, you don't need a million followers, like you do not need a ton of followers in order to get like brand deals or at least gifted PR. So here are all my tips on how to get on PR lists, how to get brand collabs, and how I get a lot of my gifted PR and some of my brand deals. So to start out, you need to have kind of like established a niche, niche, niche. You need to have established a niche of like being in that Base of what you want collaborations regarding. So if you want to be like lifestyle, fashion, beauty, makeup, like make sure you are showing that type of content on your social platforms already because it will give the brands a little bit of a taste of how you would represent their products on your social media feeds, especially if you're already doing it. It will make them more inclined to want to work with you because they'll see that you have experience already doing so. The big the biggest piece of advice that I can give you is do not, and I say do not even waste your time with those little spammy accounts on Instagram that go in your DMs or comment on your pictures like DM us for a collab, like DM us for promo, or like if they hit you up and say, oh, like we wanna work with you, message them. If they have like a random ass account reaching out to you to tell you to message, the actual brand's account, baby, it's a scam, scam. But it basically says like, oh, you'll get a lifetime discount in exchange for promoting our products, you'll get a commission link, yada, yada, yada. It is all fake. It is literally a ploy to get you to spend money buying their product just so they can make the sale. Just because you buy one of their products, like that's literally all they wanted out of you was for you to spend your own money to buy their products and then promote it on your platform to then get other people to buy the products. Like it is just a ploy to get you to make a purchase so they can make a quick sale. And that's why they use these little spam bots so they can send out all these DMs to all these different accounts and not have the actual brand's account like disabled or looking sketchy. Like all, everything about those situations are sketchy. There's even been times where I write back to them and I'm like, yeah, I'm interested. Like what is the budget for this campaign? And literally if they write back, oh, like there's no budget or oh, you just get a lifetime discount, even a 95% discount or oh, free products you just pay for shipping, it is all a scam. It is all for you to just spend money on their site. That is it. it. They post you on your Instagram maybe once. They have a bunch of fake followers that they bought. Like it does nothing for you as a personal brand, your engagement, their engagement, like it does nothing except literally trick people into spending their money on products that they don't want and aren't good quality most of the time. So when I first started out doing this, I was already kind of like established in a niche, so to speak. So like I, I'm a typical girl, so I was already posting like, you know, fit inspo, fit pics, like makeup, lifestyle, whatever. And honestly, I didn't really start trying to get brand collabs or PR until I started my YouTube channel. So it again gave me like another outlet to push out social content on. But that's not something that you have to do. Like you can do it straight through TikTok or straight through only Instagram, whatever social platform you kind of prefer or straight through YouTube. It's 
whatever content you prefer and I would say you're most active on, have the most engagement on, have the most followers on. So the way I started out doing it was honestly, I just started DMing Instagram accounts that I wanted to work with. So I started off by making like a list of brands that I wanted to hit up to try to get at least bare minimum gifted PR from, if not a whole brand collaboration. So I suggest making like an Excel list or writing it down by hand, putting it in your notes app, whatever you wanna do, make a list of all of the accounts that you want to target, or if you're not sure what accounts you want to target, start doing some research and make a list of brands that are like similar to your niche. So if it's makeup or if it's fashion, like look up popular clothing brands that you like or look up really popular makeup brands that you like or popular makeup outlets, like whatever you wanna do, make a list and target those. That way you can kind of keep track as to where you're at, who you've reached out to, who you've reached out to and haven't heard from, etc. So that is my first piece of advice is make a list of all the accounts that you want to target. And what I did after that was I made like a keyboard shortcut on my phone with a very generic like intro DM that I was just going to blast out to a bunch of brands that I wanted to work with. So it's normally something along the lines of, hey, like I absolutely love your ex, so your clothing, your makeup, your skincare, etc. Make it specific or as specific as you can. So I would normally start off with, hey, like I love your so-and-so, or if I have like a specific product of theirs that I actually love, I'd be like, hey, like I love your cleansing balm. I literally use it every day. And then I would say something along the lines of, I would love to make some really awesome content on my Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok platform. Who can I reach out to to possibly discuss this opportunity? Something along those lines. That way you can at least, one, get them to see the message and two, possibly get an email out of it to actually speak to the person that would be in charge of coordinating a collaboration or gifted PR. So normally that Instagram DM either is answered by someone on the marketing team that will send over your information to the appropriate people or they will reply back saying yes and here is an email to contact us. So the main prerogative of this Instagram DM is to get an email to send your media kit and your rates and all of that stuff over to. The person that you will be emailing with is more than likely the person that actually is dealing with marketing and PR and influencers and collaboration. So they are the right person that you want to be talking to because they are the one that you are going to be exchanging information with in order to get a gifted PR or possible brand collaboration. A lot of brands, especially I feel like if you're just starting out or maybe don't have that great of engagement or don't have that many followers quite yet, I feel like a lot of brands will start out with gifted PR. So if maybe they only do brand collaborations with a certain amount of followers and up, the least that they'll do is get you gifted PR. That way you can at least post that on your social media They'll get some free content out of it and that gives you an excuse to open the door again for a possible collaboration in the future. So never take gifted PR for granted, so to speak, because if you do good with making content around that or showcasing that or attracting engagement, they will then consider you later on if you hit them up again to possibly do a brand collaboration because you've worked with them before and you produced content that they enjoy with their product. On that topic, put an email that you want brands to reach out to you to in your Instagram bio, in your TikTok bio, whatever social media platform you're like trying to get the collaboration through. Make sure that one, you have all of your social accounts linked to each other so that way if they only find your Instagram, they have a link to your TikTok or your YouTube channel, et cetera. Make sure you have a public profile, that way they can kind of like creep on you before they even answer you back. Three, make sure that you have a visible email in your bio or somewhere on your profile where brands can reach out to you. 
a lot of times brands will reach out to you via email too and then it eliminates any work that you had to do on your part because they found you first and reached out to you and normally that is at least gifted PR or else they would have never hit you up in the first place so make sure you have an email that brands can reach out to and make it kind of professional make a separate email if you want like you can make free emails on Gmail if you want Make it semi-professional, that way brands have a way to reach out to you first if they discover your profile and want to work with you. A lot of brands are now doing collaborations via their website and they'll have like a specific portion of their website that is for contact us, apply for collaboration, apply for ambassadorship, apply to be an influencer. So you can do that directly on their website. I will say there is probably tons of people doing that a day. So it's definitely gonna take multiple tries in order to get noticed or get any response back from one of those like online applications that they have. The same thing can happen with email. I just feel the response rate via email, if you have a good direct email, is better than the collaboration applications on their website. But either way, sometimes you have to do continuous outreach, especially if it is a very like highly renowned brand that they have their DMs and emails blowing up every day. You're definitely gonna have to do continued outreach in order to get a response. And at least if you get a response, you'll know whether they're interested or not. So you can either take them off of your list to continue pursuing, or you can update your list as to where the communication lies and what are the potential next steps with that brand. Another way that you can get gifted PR and brand collaborations is if you're working with an agency. Now this route is a little bit harder because if you don't have many followers or anything like that across all of your platforms combined, it is gonna be harder to get an agency, especially if you're only sticking to just Instagram, just TikTok, just YouTube. A lot of creators, if you want to be in the creator space, utilize all the social platforms available. So when you only stick to one platform, it is a little bit harder for an agency to want to work with you. But what you can do is literally Google like PR agencies in your area. You can creep them via Instagram and look for like popular agencies. And you can do the same process of DMing them, trying to get an email, or at least DMing them and they'll kind of tell you how their process works if it's not as simple as just emailing them or as simple as them liking your profile and adding you to like their PR list and influencer list. Uh, this is definitely probably the most difficult route to go just because you do need to be a little bit more established in order for an agency to want to work with you but that is definitely an option as well. I utilize a couple of smaller agencies and I work with those, but I don't work with any like huge, huge agencies. And again, that is, and again, that's probably because of the fact that I don't have as many followers as most agencies want in order to get on like the really, really huge PR list. So now the easiest, easiest way to get gifted PR and little brand collaborations is to apply on influencer platforms. So some influencer platforms are going to require like a specific engagement rate or follower count, such as Octoly. Octoly requires specific amount of followers and engagement rate in order for you to link certain social media accounts that you have. So that one's gonna take a little bit more time to build out in order to do so. But a couple of apps that I am referring to that are a little bit easier to get into is an app Influencer. Influencer will do a lot of what what they call cash back campaigns and essentially these are free campaigns but you front the money first so they will hit you up with a cash back campaign so it'll be like hey target is doing a cash back campaign on their bathing suit here's a list of bathing suits that you can choose from at your local target if you purchase that bathing suit and scan your receipt in you will get fully refunded the cash back, but it is still a campaign that you participated in. So at the end of the day, you got something for free 
and you do still have to do more than likely a social media post a lot of those cashback campaigns will be on a review basis but some of them do actually ask for you to post on your social media account as well so that is another route that you can take is doing a couple of cashback campaigns the reason you still want to take free campaigns or cashback campaigns whenever you're starting out is because you want to build your media kit. And if you're unfamiliar with a media kit and like how to negotiate with brands and stuff like that, drop a comment down below and I can make a separate video about that as well. But essentially a media kit is composing all of the brands that you've worked with, composing content you've produced for other brands, and kind of showing your credibility in that space that you've worked with X, Y, and Z brands and you have experience doing so because that will help you gain their trust and earn credibility in order for them to have any interest in doing a potential brand collaboration with you. So there are a few apps that I'll name right here that you can apply to for brand collaboration. Like I said, some of these apps do require you to have certain engagement rates, certain number of followers before accepting you. But if you get accepted onto any of these platforms, it is the easiest, easiest, easiest way to get gifted PR. All three of these collaborations are from influencers. So as you can see, it literally will say influencer on the box and they'll give you very, very simple instructions on what you need to do with the products in order to like gain your credits back essentially there will also probably be certain caption and hashtag requirements that you'll have to do depending on the influencer platform just because that is how their system picks up that you completed the campaign so for a lot of campaigns through influencer and octally you need to hashtag specific things and say specific things in the caption in order for their system to mark your campaign complete and give you back your credits and if you watched my most recent youtube video you will know that i did a first collab recently and they just gave me gifted PR and that was actually from them reaching out to me via email surprisingly so I didn't even have to put any work in this campaign but I did make content I posted on my story even though I wasn't required to I also did a portion of my YouTube video about it as well and I tagged them in those content posts so I feel like if I ever wanted to reach out for another collaboration or more gifted PR from them or if they had like an influencer event here in LA, they would probably hit me up because I didn't have any requirements for the gifted PR and I still made and created content with it. I think that is a huge key as well is even though it is gifted PR, you still want to kind of go above and beyond in regards to creating content with it. Because again, it further validates your credibility and your interest in the brand and potentially securing yourself a spot to work with them in the future. So those are my top tips on how to get gifted PR and brand collaborations. Like I said, if you guys want a more in-depth video on maybe how to turn PR and free brand collaborations into paid collaborations, or how to use a media kit or decide rates, drop a comment down below and I will try to make a video on it for you. And if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a huge thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!